Hi guys, Ben here from 100M Man, and I today took the decision, or fully committed, I took the decision a few days ago to go back to Lanzarote and compete or participate, should I say, in the 70.3 Ironman Triathlon. If you're new to my series, new to my journey, it was just three weeks ago that I completed and finished the 140.6. Ironman triathlon in Lanzarote as my first ever triathlon. Uh, I documented the journey over a 100 day period and uh, yeah, finished it. So I'm carrying on with the theme. I was debating to go and do another type of endurance event, uh, documenting my journey over the 100 days. However, I feel it's particularly topical at the moment with projects I've got going on uh, outside of this. Uh, project or this documentary to go back and do the half so yeah committed today all paid up ready to go uh, it's a hundred days or it's just over a hundred days uh, to go so my training actually starts first thing tomorrow morning built a training program based around uh, my foundation that I have at the moment the knowledge that I gained on the last hundred day journey um, I've incorporating more strength conditioning into it. I've lost 10 kilos since I started uh, on the 11th of February. So I'm looking to gain a little bit more weight, a little bit more strength back, uh, obviously for the shorter distance. It's going to be exciting. Uh, there's some changes that I've made to my training program and some alterations that I'm going to be making to my uh, nutrition and those aspects. The format of my document or documentation is going to be slightly different, which is, uh, I think, vastly improved on uh, week one of my 100 days going back. And that's just really based on learnings that I've had over that period of time, uh, the ability to reflect and to uh, improve. So hopefully, or there won't be too much repetition in the content uh, because of the difference in the training and the development and growth, both mindful and physical, uh, that I've that I've had over the last uh, 100 days or since February. Uh, I've taken a three-week period off deliberately based on the fact that I didn't want to, uh, I wanted the body, to be, the body to be fully recovered, so I've not done any exercise uh, since the Lanzarote Ironman. So uh, yeah, I'll be starting fresh. Um, the equipment, I'm going to make some alterations to the equipment that I've used, uh, some of the, the makes that I've used, uh, I'll re be reporting on those over the 100 days and letting, let, letting you know how I get on with those. And that's really about it. Uh, if you're interested in downloading my 70.3 training program and my 140.6 training program, if you head over to the website, uh, 100mman.com, 100mman.com, the link is in the description below. Sign up to the newsletter and it will unlock a resource available to you, which will be emailed directly to your email address uh, with downloads of the training program and a few other bits and pieces that I've put together that I think will help anybody or anyone uh, aspiring to, to take part or participate in these endurance events. So I'll be sharing with you my honest uh, opinion. As with my other program, despite being qualified as a physical trainer, sports nutritionist, it's not my area of expertise. There are plenty more qualified people out there. So if you are setting off on a journey, please do go and get that advice, that guidance, um, and build it on a good quality foundation. Uh, the, the advice that you'll get from experts within that industry is invaluable. So, uh, yeah, if you're going to invest any money and this is your first introduction into a, an endurance event, then do make that consideration. Uh, the programs that I'm going to be sharing with you are based on what I'm going to be doing, and obviously they're not suitable to for everybody. So that's really the only uh, thing that I've got to say to kickstart things off. Hopefully, as I said, there's not going to be too much repetition. Please click and subscribe to the videos. Uh, they are going to be coming out every day, so I'll be reporting every day, or the intention certainly is to be reporting every day. Uh, I think that is it for today. 
nutrition has changed, as I said, or, or developed and improved. My fitness program has developed and improved based on the previous learning. Uh, my kit so far is relatively stable. As I said, there is some alterations based on uh, what I experienced on the day uh, and during my, my learning over the last 100 day project. Um, mindfully, I think I'm as strong as ever. Uh, I'm working now pretty much full time with in the coaching uh, the coaching world. And I've taken a slight shift from a certain sector to across to another sector, uh, which has been incredibly well received. Um, that's about it. Apart from that, you know, I'm all ready to rock and roll. Tomorrow's first session, I've got a strength and conditioning session first thing, then a bike ride immediately after. The training sessions will be pretty much once a day, five days a week, but most of the se sessions incorporate a double back-to-back, -back, effectively, mini brick, brick sessions incorporated into uh, a period of less than two hours, um, apart from the longer rides towards the, the end of the, or mid to end of the 100 days. Uh, but as I said, you'll get an idea of the training program if you head over to the website and sign up to the newsletter. So I've got lots of exciting things happening over the next 100, day, 100 days. They've all been scheduled in. I've got interviews uh, with some good athletes. I've got some really good tips from uh, some good quality swim coaches, some runners, and some endurance professionals. Uh, so I'm going to be sharing all those with you. If you know someone that is interested in appearing uh, or talking with me for a podcast, then by all means share it with them, tag them in the post below, um, share with them on Facebook and uh, send them in my direction. But for now, that's it. Peace out. Thanks for your support and your kind words. And I will see you first thing in the morning.